you're going to close your hand to make a fist so you can throw a punch, it's important that you close your hand properly and you hit with the right part of your hand, otherwise you could end up injuring your hand. So the easiest way to do it is to start off by opening your hand. So what I basically do to start with is just open up my hand like this. I then bend my fingers until I can feel this lump of skin just beneath there. From there, I completely close my hand and I neatly tuck my thumb underneath so to protect my thumb. A lot of times beginners tend to put their thumbs inside their hand which can only potentially hurt your thumb and it also lessens the impact of the punch. So remember to just tuck it underneath nice and neatly like this and you'll notice as well with my hand the top two knuckles stick out the most so that's the part of the hand that I'm striking with. There's also the third knuckle as well so you may occasionally end up hitting with both the first two and the third knuckle, that's okay, but I tend to aim with the first two knuckles being the most important part there. The next thing that I've noticed that beginners tend to have trouble with is because they don't close their hand properly, they tend to have their knuckles sticking out the bottom part and they end up hitting with the bottom part of their knuckles. So to fix that up, all you need to do is to reopen your hand again, bend your fingers and tuck it in so this way the two knuckles stick out on top of the most. Now, Another common mistake I've known is when people first start punching, their wrists tend to collapse. So to fix that up, all you need to do is to make sure that you tense not only your hand, but also your forearm all the way to the elbow. So it's nice and straight. When you make that punch, everything is nice and strong. There's no collapsing of the wrist. But another thing that I also like to do if I'm gonna do a heavy workout on the bag is I wanna make sure that I do loosen off my wrists properly just by doing some simple rotations like this, nice and easy, make sure you rotate it both ways. And then from there, I just finish off by bending my hand forwards and back. So if I do have a good workout on the bag, I'll wake up the next morning and I won't have sore wrists. Like so. And this brings me to my next point. Whenever you're gonna do some contact work, whether you are sparring with your partner, or you're using the focus pads, or you're working the heavy bag, it's important that you always wear some protective equipment on your hands. Now, it can be something just simple as boxing gloves, uh, MMA gloves, uh, wraps, or even some uh, bag mitts, but you should always use some protection when you're hitting something. The only time that I would only go bare knuckle is if I'm sparring with my partner and we're just doing completely non-contact sparring, that would be okay. Or if I'm doing some shadow sparring and I'm just moving around, practicing my punches, then I would use uh, no gloves, bare knuckle would be fine. And my final point I wanna talk about today, if you ever get into a situation where you have to use your hands in a self-defense situation, I would advise you not to use your fists to punch with because potentially you may end up injuring your hands and it may prevent you from being able to continue to defend yourself. There are some other strikes that I would highly recommend using my hands, but I think we'll talk about that in another video. But for now, enjoy your punching, train hard and protect those hands.